for mature audiences. All right, guys, welcome, welcome to the, the cave. cave. Oh, wow. we, just, we just saved that one. Yes, we did. Well done, guys. Okay, now uh, before we get, oh yes, our one pop quiz. You? What's the name of the today's topic? Fetishes. <laughs> you know. Yes, with, and with a strong lapse. emphasis emphasis on, on bisexuality. Bisexuality. Yes. <laughs> He's about to say bisexualism. <laughs> Speaking of bisexual, <laughs> we'd like to introduce our wonderful guest. She is a wonderful actress. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen many of her bisexualism films. <laughs> she models. Yes. She's a model. Yes. Yeah. She has her own podcast on the MF NMF, NMF TV network. She Sorry. is yeah. a master of uh, Kama Sutra. <laughs> and one crazy awesome girl, please welcome Miss Max Eigenman. <laughs> welcome, welcome, to welcome. the Max. Welcome. I think it says a lot about your personality that the name of your podcast is Two Girls in a Cup. Oh, are, are you wondering why we actually named the Oh, I know exactly them? what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, I wonderful. I watched it twice. Wonderful. Yeah, time. I've watched it a couple times as well. <laughs> You've watched it twice. I had, yeah. no, okay, the first time that I watched it, okay. I couldn't finish it. Right. And then I was like, okay, 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 I'm going to watch it again and see the rest of it. And I'm because like, oh, okay. it was educational? Yes. Okay. Because, um, because wondering. of that, I realized <laughs> that I would not ever want to do that. So uh, I, was trying, I was trying to check if there was a bait and switch. The shit finish <laughs> <laughs> is called um, scatology. I'm sorry? Interesting. Scatology. The what? Scatology means you have a fetish for shit. Okay. I don't have a fetish yeah. for there's at a all. Site, there's a site called RateMyPoo.com. Okay. Why do you know these things? Because Selene is research. obsessed with RateMyPoo.com when we were children. <laughs> <laughs> Send me links. Oh, Check okay. out this poo. I'm just like, what? Wow. And okay. They nickname it. <laughs> like, and then you, uh -huh. you rate it. You give it like stars. That's fantastic. It okay. is. That's it's, fantastic. it's still up okay. Right now. I actually right I have an idea. So that's called um, scatology. Uh, Link that we've got, we've got a couple of friends that have been sending pictures of their poo to each other. And so I came up with an idea of why don't we invent... Snap, chat. That's great. Yeah. I'm sure how many people would like to invest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of yeah. people when they take a shit kind of just take a peek. Yeah, it's like, of yeah, course. Oh my God, you want to send it to your friends? Exactly. So, Snapchat. Everyone yeah, you has. Yeah, you take a look at it. You look at the creation you just you exactly. just made. Yeah. You know, you want to see if there's peanuts in it. So you want to see, see if it's corn, corn sticking, out corn. sticking out of water. So water. as extreme, yeah. the fetish. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a little fetish in them yeah. somewhere. Exactly. Right? If you yeah. think you don't have a fetish, if you turn around and look at your poo after going poo, that is a fetish. That is a fetish. <laughs> All right. Excellent. <laughs> Especially if it looks like a phallic symbol. Yes. Okay, wait. <laughs> anyway, where are you going with that? All right, he's trying to segue to his extra extra. We Go know ahead. your penis looks like shit, okay? <laughs> if that's what you're trying to say. <laughs> By the way, what's the name of that chat? What's the name of that website about poop? RateMyPoo.com. Yep, that is linked directly to the fat kid inside for new recipes. <laughs> <laughs> to chocolate shame, my brownies friend. and shame, uh, my friend. <laughs> meat pie. Out okay, the episodes. Finally, he got one. Yeah, okay. he, yeah. wants, he wants to lead the episode. Maybe fetish. You could. Yeah, uh, maybe Steven, You can actually tell us. No, there's no, no, a no definition of a fetish. What is fetish? A fetish. fetish. Fetish is uh, that thing that um, <laughs> makes a guy or a girl sexually aroused, mm -hmm. uh, and it may not necessarily be the conventional way. Okay. Like like a naked woman. Okay. Not necessarily that. Maybe something. Oddly weird. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Feti fetishes were actually originally um, uh, like things like dolls and everything that people would worship. It used to be a talisman. Uh, yeah, a talisman and everything. Like and then uh, a fetishist was someone that idolized those particular things, mm, okay. which is now, in today's modern terms, become things that we associate generally with sex. Okay. 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 All right. We got serious uh, there for a minute. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Sorry. Right. Let's wow. Bring, let's bring this topic got so level. sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't master I'm sorry for instilling some knowledge into this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. There, yes. No, there are a lot of girls who have a uh, um, uh, fetish for accents in general. Yes. Correct. Yes. Ew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephen, go. What were you okay. trying to say? Yeah. So uh, go. We have an extra extra for today, and um, this is news coming from Japan. Okay. <gasps> so the so Japanese it must be weird. It must yeah. be weird. Exactly. <laughs> they know their fetishes. Have invented the future of masturbation, especially well for men. Okay. And they're called well, it's called Tenga, and it's coming soon to the Philippines. Mm. And it's what you coming call coming soon. No pun yeah. intended. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called the right. uh, pocket. It's like pocket pussies, basically. Okay. Basically, right. it, they, they come in different designs, and it makes the experience of masturbating more um, 
realistic. Okay, so it's. It's for women. It's not. It's not. It's not well, no, you can probably use it. I'm not just not sure. Yeah, yeah, you not get as much out of it. Speaking of Japan, did you know that there's actually a festival? I, don't, I forget what it's called. Oh, like the cock festival. Yeah, where there's yeah. like this huge, gigantic pink sculpture of a cock, and mm -hmm. then there's like these women that come out in their kimonos, and then they're like um around that huge, gigantic sculpture of a cock, and then mm -hmm. all these like men like walk out like an army, and then they all go in front of the woman, and then this guy wow. like says something in Japanese, and then they just all fuck Sexy. in front of the. Oh wow! Thing. Interesting. I, I, That's I, I, so yeah, you're booking your next trip to Japan. Showed me that video when I was like yeah. 14. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck, we are?" <laughs> no, I, yeah, no, we've all. I think we've all heard of that yeah. uh, festival. I, I think they're celebrating virility or something. But uh, yeah, it's or a something. legitimate festival in yes. Japan. Yeah. Japan also hosts uh, air sex, the air sex uh, tournament of yes. the world. Yes, yes, yeah. heard of that. Show, Can you give show us an us, example. Yeah, show us what you being the only is. musician here. Give show us sex blow job. Go. go. No. Go, go, go. Right. I'll hold the mic. Go, 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 go. I haven't go, go, had. Mind. I haven't had practice, guys. <laughs> Remember to play with the ball. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> just came back from Europe. We know you're, what you're up to. Yeah. Um, okay. Tea -bagging. I've got another extra. Extra. Uh, it's about a little something called Foria. This is something that you could use. Okay. Um, like it is a marijuana lu lubricant. Oh, I heard about this. Yes. So apparently, um, they've distilled marijuana into a, a type of uh, oil or a lubricant, and when a woman um, uses it, sprays it onto her vagina. Uh, obviously, all of her the pussy. yes, her pussy. It's uh, it's absorbed into the bloodstream, and it enhances sexual pleasure as I well as relaxing shit. them, chilling them out. So they basically they, they get high, but it enhances the sexual experience. Mm. And I quote from someone who a woman who has tried it. Every morning I gave it four sprays and again in the mid-afternoon. My boyfriend and I had a lot of sex and monitored how things were changing, if they even were. Sex was intense. I noticed certain things felt different and orgasms were longer, way crazier, and felt enhanced. When we were just banging the old-fashioned way, I felt it all over in a more focused sense, like everything was working outwards from my stoned little Just cunt. use a vibrator at the same time, woman. So... When Mark says it's like time. Anderson Cooper reading <laughs> Hustler. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's very clinical. Scientifically. Scientifically, yeah. No, that's Stephen's term. I'll yeah. give you that. All right. We're going to discuss what? fetishes more and bisexuality. And then, but before that, um, since the last time I guested in your show, you made me drink a lot. So it's time for us to, well, me and the boys would uh, try to get back at you by making you drink a shot. If you can't answer any of our questions, and in the same way, if we can't answer your They're question, don't we'll don't don't bring me in here. You're wow. representing the boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Drag us in. We're not yeah. gonna. We're not gonna back I'm you up. I'm, I'm afraid of Max. You, you're Max, the one who said I fear yes you. Yes on really their no. I fear you. I really <laughs> do. This is between <laughs> Steven <laughs> on, great. and Max. It, we're, it. we're going up against Kamikaze. Wait, wait, why is there Baroka on the table? There's a fetish, and there's a fetish to see Mark drink a shot of tequila. Is that your fetish? That's gonna be my fetish tonight. <laughs> Just see me. Uh, drink tequila. Nice. Do you want to turn me on, Mark? Mm. Yes, drink please. Some tequila, baby. It's okay. Uh, this tequila has creatine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do okay. creatine. I swear to God, it has protein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the worm at the Wait, bottom. Wait, who's? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, okay, we're going to go through some fetishes and just okay. give me your comments. Okay. Here are some of the weirdest ones. Of course, you know, foot fetishes, which is my favorite. Yes, okay. Yeah, which I know. Yeah. Foot fetish. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. But did you know that there's a fetish for girls stuck in quicksand? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and girls who can't start their cars. That's a good one. And okay. cake icing. And my favorite is objectum sexualis, which okay. is basically what is you get turned on when you see phallic objects like the Eiffel Tower or like or a bottle. A bottle of wine. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, not. Okay, that's a pretty the, like, weird, weird looking palace. I mean, like weirdest Weirdest, fetish, yeah. But one of the most okay. common okay. fetishes. Okay. Um, armpits. Buttons, armpits. Armpits. Mm, uh, yeah. Piercings. Those are mm, piercings, those are yeah. Fetishes. Tattoos. 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 What else? Um, hair. Hair. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It works. Absolutely. Different like, types of like like there? No 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 hair oh, like, oh, yeah like yeah hair. and I yeah. think I think <laughs> now probably the most current because of, of, of Fifty Shades of Grey Mr Christian Grey um, domination oh, yeah. okay uh, elevators S &M, latex S and M um, S and M um, uh, peeing and as you said the what's what's golden been shower. golden showers what's yeah, been right. your experience with um, S and M S and M well I shopped there. <laughs> Sorry. How do you make oh. pain into pleasure? <laughs> oh wow. my god. Then, okay, sorry, uh, Let's vote okay. him off Max, again. Max, um, what are your top five fetishes for, for guys? Yeah, for guys. Honestly, it's gonna, uh, hands and feet. Hands and feet. Yeah. So clean hands, clean yeah, feet. And, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You also Wait, host maybe. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What I'm else? I'm not used to being asked the questions. This is very strange. So hands and feet number um, one. And then I like them to look stinky. 
Yung mukha mm. mabaho pero wow. hindi. Wow. Grungy guys. Wow. Grungy guys. Grungy like, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, Haven't they look stinky, but they're actually not. Right. Haven't <laughs> shaved in a while. Like, uh, like, you know, look you don't like, look stinky, look though. Look like they bicycled okay. here. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to put, like put our hands on the table. Like a European backpacker. We're going to put our hands on the table. Okay. We're going to put our hands on the table. French host of a podcast. We're going to put our hands on the table, and the hand that turns her on has to drink a shot. No. Okay. I'm not playing this game. Wait. I like it. My hands are beautiful. Put your hand. In there. There. I should have moisturized, damn it. No, I don't <laughs> moisturize my no, hands. No, he, he doesn't like a moisturized. Eh? Okay, right now, Max is choosing between four, fi- four hands, four fingers. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. They're, they're, the they're the cleanest. They're the cleanest. Damn it. And they're the longest. I, well. Did you say it looks like a penis? <laughs> <laughs> you know what they she say? The she said it looks like a penis. Longest. Big hands <laughs> means big gloves. <laughs> <laughs> big gloves. Like, Thank you for that, Max. <laughs> I like uh, your hands. It looks like a penis. All right, I next is some weird penis. Okay, uh, three, uh, three other uh, fetishes. I would um, ask Mark, but then I know it's a schoolgirl. Puet. <laughs> That's very... Puet. Okay, we're going to put our puet now on the table. <laughs> okay, what else? Mm. Well, they're, they're actually very... They're not as weird as what you guys mentioned. I like guys mm. with tattoos. Okay. Tattoos? Okay. okay. Like That's legit. sleeves. Okay. Okay. Actually, oh, guys sleeves. are girls with sleeves. So yeah. Like tattoos. Okay. Yeah. We had Divine on here once. Yeah. And her how, sleeves are awesome. Uh, how yes. about if the tattoos are. Oh, why are you laughing? Why, why are you that thing? When we say Divine, she, oh. she got excited all of a yeah. sudden. So we, we had to focus on ba- Divine sexuality. Yes. Who's yes. Divine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> most <laughs> famous lesbian in the movie. <laughs> 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 That's it. And She's the hottest. Hey, hey. We're going okay. wakeboarding tomorrow. Hey, baby. Oh, cool. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How about if he has tattoos all over his penis? Does that turn I have on? never seen one, so I'd have to. <laughs> I'd have to see one. Okay. Mm. I mean, how could a tattoo artist tattoo a soft penis? You'd have to have a hard one while getting it. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. So so like, it has to be a female tattoo artist. That, no, but that's interesting. Hey, you know what? He'd have okay. to get off on you know, pain okay, I have, too. Yeah. Speaking of like pain yeah. and like a hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I ha- okay, I, I have this home service <laughs> wax girl, thing. right? Uh huh. So she waxes like bikini wax, and she 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 would tell me stories about um some of her customers who are males. And there was this one particular person, just one among the very, very men that she's waxed. Steve's like, please don't say my name. In the 10 years that she's, she's been waxing, okay. that every time she would pull, he would get harder and harder and harder. That's and true. I was like, what? Whoa. Wow. I swear. That's true, that's true. Although yeah. she's not pang at that. I'm just, I mean, she's, you know, she's cute yeah. and stuff. And I was like, maybe that's why. You, you and want, but... Wow. That was her thing. That's intense pain. But apparently, every time she would pull, he'd get harder. And then she said, it made my job easier because I wouldn't have to stretch it. Uh, Uh, You want to hear a weird uh, fetish? And this is a friend that we know. Uh, This guy (laughs) gets turned on by masseuse who are old. Like, the older they are. I can understand that. Are you talking about yourself, Like, the more granny they are, the more turned on... That's an absolute fetish. Steven, are you yeah. talking Absolute about yourself? Legitimate no, 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 not me. Not me. Definitely <laughs> all <laughs> know this guy. I, I'm yeah. 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 Okay. Steven okay. knows. Okay. Not <laughs> maybe the granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's I'm gonna so weird. I'm gonna throw a monkey wrench in this whole thing, guys. Uh, obviously, bisexuality means I mean it could equal threesomes. Here in this room, raise your hand and say I if you've had a threesome experience with Steven Koo. I. What? What are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? Really? Shut up! <laughs> you two guys said no. you would admit it off air. No. Oh, you what? are never. calling me out. Okay, anyway. What are you talking sorry. about? <laughs> We're going to edit this part I've out. I've never been with you. <laughs> right. Really? Oh, right. you guys do edits the top there? Yeah. Oh. Oh. The fucking, yeah. You fuckers sold me out. Take what, a shot, guys? bro. Fuck you, Nelson. I have one. Yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a shot, bro. No. Are you serious? No. And then We're Ma- totally and editing that and out. And then Max goes... See what? One shot of tequila comes... Oh my and God. the truth Only comes because out. Because I thought that your hands were beautiful, that you admitted wow. to everybody that you Grab had a threesome with Stephen Kuhn. You were in the room. You were in the room with him. I'm sorry. That doesn't count as a threesome. Right. <laughs> it was an attempt at Wait, one. He's no. busy optimizing his channel. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Ed- we're editing that. I'll just edit that out, please. It's not right. fair. Why okay, do you so guys do edit? Tips for men. Uh, you know what to do if you have a particular fetish that you want to indulge in. What's the best way to go about? <laughs> Get it's over it, bitch. I was going to take this show to another level. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Down. the wrong it de- level. It, 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 it depends Sorry. on what you're doing. Right. I'm with my brothers. <laughs> I'll go okay, talk about threesomes. I, I wasn't even there with you, <laughs> man. <laughs> Dude, I can feel your Get penis, out of it. man. <laughs> I've never been in a threesome, I swear. All right, all right. Okay. Today. <laughs> okay, so it's if you lie. have a particular <laughs> fetish and you want to act on it, what do you do and how do you go about it? Like, are there websites that you have to go to? Okay, pick, pick, a, pick a fetish. Uh, Voyeurism. 
a lot of people voyeurism. Have yeah. Voyeurism. Okay. okay. So how That's to act hot. on it? Yeah. How do you how do you approach the subject with yeah, your so with whoever significant yeah. other or your person you're dating? I think significant other is the safest. Please go. Please. What's okay, going Mark, on? So yes. what's the gentleman way to do it? Um, Let's say you want to have sex in public. Ooh. Uh, I you volunteer. How do you approach that? I volunteer. You, well, no, you, you talk <laughs> about Someone it. Someone does not like her. <laughs> how do you approach the subject? <laughs> I mean, you talk about it with your, your significant other. Obviously, you need to develop a certain amount of, of trust. 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 Yep. Uh, and, trust. Uh, Sorry. No, not trust condoms. But that would help to yeah. use. Uh, or you might brand. get smarter. Um, so talk about it and make sure that they feel safe about it. Because okay. this is something that is your fetish. It's not necessarily theirs. Um, and assure them of the safetyness and, and put all the... You know, like, okay, we'll do it out in public, but it's going to be here where no one will see. There is that risk, but this is the backup plan, and this is our escape route. Because marriage counselors and people will always give tips about marriage, always say things like, yeah, you know, if you have fantasies, talk about it. Yeah. That's the best mm -hmm. way to do it, and that's yeah. probably the first step. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Even if it's a no, yeah, at least it's out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you never know. One day they might have a few drinks. And say, yeah, I'm kind of experimental. Let's try it. Yeah, okay. great way to rekindle a relationship that you've been in and where you think you've hit a hump uh, regarding, you know, your sexual... Uh, and you want to hit another hump. Can yeah, you, you say hit something? Another hump. Yeah. Invited. Can you say something over. about How, that? Yeah, go. That was horrible. Um, although, I suggest, well, not that one suggests, but in my opinion, if you're in a relationship that's Patagalna and then you talk about your fantasies and whatever, I, I don't think that you should try everything with this person. It's because it might get weird. Mm. Might get it weird. Gets weird. Mm. It gets weird. It yeah. gets weird. Uh, well, it depends how weird it gets. Okay, when we come back. Yeah, no, I'm saying, yeah. When we come back, Max, Max will tell us all that she's tried. <laughs> yes. yes. All Ooh. Us Ooh. After the, this we break. need three so hours for this show. There, you must we'll be over be 18 forward. to listen to this next segment, guys, all right? <laughs> I'm 17. Ten no, no, no. Are you, you're 17? <laughs> oh, my God. We can't. <laughs> Stay away from Mark. Stay away from Mark. We'll see you guys in a bit. Mark! I didn't say anything. Put these handcuffs on, Mark. Put these handcuffs on. I promise you. Not on her. Mark, no R. Kelly tonight. Experience the best beers in the world on tap in Chef Carlo Miguel's gastronomic feasts. Draft Gastropub with branches at the Fort Strip, Rockwell Mall, Greenbelt 2, and soon to open Will Tower, Quezon City, and Molito Alabang. Welcome back to The Cave! Wow. Okay, wow. so before the break, we actually, you said you had a relationship where you tried a lot of Fetishes. Kinky stuff, yeah. Kinky well, stuff and it didn't end up well. Um, that? Fetishes, but um, because in the beginning, we weren't really uh, um, looking for a relationship. So everything was just lust, 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 lust. So, and I was just like, okay, because before that, I had, I had just come from a long relationship, mm -hmm. like a few months before that, and then I started seeing this guy, and then, you know, I was very, like, you called me experimental, mm -hmm. but not anymore, because, like I said, yeah, I know mm -hmm. what I want because of that relationship. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of shit together, S like you know, like threesomes, four some paying, uh, role playing. Ro oh yeah, a lot yeah. of that. I love yeah. role playing, okay. costumes, and all that stuff. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But you know, eventually, you know, after a year mm -hmm. of of that, and it uh, it eventually became more serious. The mm. and when it becomes more serious, then you get more attached. And then if, especially since he's a guy, he's less emotional in that sense because mm. yeah. because guys in general, you get to separate sex and love, yes. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in my opinion, because obviously, like, I don't know if all girls believe this, but I realize this now that love and sex are two very, very different things. Mm -hmm. Correct. And it's more, um, guys know that when they're fucking born. Girls realize that because of experience, the right? And so, you know, when, when we fell in love or became, got into a, when we became serious and he expected our lifestyle to still be the same, it, it wasn't the same for yeah. me anymore because mm. I, I started to get jealous mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. And as far and, and as the threesomes and the foursomes yeah, and the Yeah, and, and, and the, the thing is, in my mind, I was like, why am I not okay with it now when I was before? Because I have, I have no regrets. So it was fucking yeah. amazing. I mean, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, when it, when yeah. it's parang when it when you <laughs> wake up <laughs> yeah, no this is absolutely fascinating. when you I, I really think that in terms of craziness like that like the whole swinging thing if you're married or if you're with mm -hmm. someone i don't suggest it because if you play with fire yeah then it just kind of burn. you, yeah. it burns yeah. so like if you're single then fucking mm -hmm. do whatever yeah. the fuck you want mm -hmm. but just make sure that you're not you're not emotionally involved mm -hmm. with that person because at the end of the day, whether you're a guy of the or a girl, emotions get in the way. I mean, it takes longer for that to happen with men, but for mm -hmm. women, it happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what is the only STD that goes through a condom? 
emotions. You got it, baby! <laughs> I was literally stumped there. Yeah, I was like, like too, uh, Ebola yeah. virus? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Now, did you have... Stephen Cooties? <laughs> to rewind it back, uh, but did you have this, this insatiable appetite for freakiness in you? <laughs> and, I mean, or did it come out Look like... When I met this guy. Yeah, when, I mean, did you always have it, and then it came out after this long relationship that you had? Or, or I mean, are all women I've capable all, of I've, this? I've always what? had it. But the thing is, because... Uh, I, I, okay, I, I, I had a child when I was really young. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, since I was very young, in my mind, I thought, oh, my God, I have to grow up now. And I can't mm. party. I, I can't be wild. I can't experiment anymore. But, mm. you know, eventually when he got a bit bigger and I turned this age and that age, and I was like, oh, say, okay, I still want to do these things. And it's in my nature. I mean, you know what? Bullshit that guys are assholes and girls are kawawa. Thank we you. are all mm. animalistic by nature, mm. all of us. Yeah. Girls, mm-hmm. especially here in the Philippines, mm-hmm. I believe, and it's funny that I'm saying this because I was born and raised here. Mm-hmm. Um, we are all just as fucked up as men are. Thank I you. Think, I think, mo- I think we are more you. fucked up than they are because we are not, you know, we, we're not, not open about you're it. You're not upfront about we're it. We're afraid to admit it. Right. I mean, I like cock. I like pussy. What the fuck is wrong with being honest about it, diba? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Here, here. Yeah. We'd like to welcome the fifth host of the cave. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the fourth. I'm We're like, getting rid of Steven. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm yeah. a vagina. Yeah. No, I'm, t- I'm, try- I'm trying to. S- a quick our, our director's mouth just was wide open for like five seconds. <laughs> right. Is I love it. it. Cock and pussy in one sentence. I love it. <laughs> no, and, 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 I mean, and the, I love from the, a girl. I mean, <laughs> the unfortunate stigma of fetishes years ago was it was a negative thing. It's mm. a negative connotation. But I love the the day and age and the, and the the age that we live in now, where it's all about celebrate your individuality, embrace your Oh, your, yeah. you know uh, what you're all about, and and be a freak. If you're a freak, you're a freak. Yeah. Well, my favorite thing is oh, yeah. own it. You always I'm say own it or own it. Everybody own else it. is a freak for and admitting <laughs> that they are just as freaky as we and are. I think, you know a, I think a sign right now of uh, women so coming angry, out I'm with sorry. with <laughs> a little bit with their freakiness no, is cool. the popularity of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like you hear about this book. Okay, see, it's another romance novel, and then when you read it, you're like, "Holy, this is some kinky ass shit." Mm-hmm. Not really. Uh, but <laughs> so, no, no, wait, wait, wait. But no, Sorry. no, no. Let me, let me add something though. It's garden but, salad but to she me. Did, she did, she did point out yeah. a particular difference. That even though there is kinkiness at a certain level, emotions do pour Get in, in much way. faster for women than they yes. do for men. If you, yeah, you read Fifty enough. Shades of Day, great, which I haven't, mm-hmm. but I've read like the summary, which is enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you can tell that it is kinky, but there's a lot yeah. of emotional shit that goes on no, in there as yeah. well. Yeah, but maybe a, a good advice can be if you're gonna have a fetish or you know a fantasy with your girlfriend or your wife, you better you, you better know your limits. You have to talk about it, and then because also you better I think, know her limits. Yeah, no, because I think yeah. actually it enhances your relationship because yes. instead of the guy cheating on a girl, mm-hmm. if the girl indulges the guy in his fetishes, mm-hmm. I think the guy's less likely to cheat on the girl. I mean, I don't know if you guys agree. I, I, I agree yeah. with that. I, I mean, fe- that. sharing mm-hmm. your fetishes and your fantasies, like like Erwin mentioned earlier, is is good because even if you don't do it, then it's out there. Yeah. Instead um, of going to it's Japan. just the whole swinging or the sharing thing. Mm-hmm. That is the only thing that, in my opinion, gets in the way after a while when you have yeah. you, yeah. you get jealous, you start to compare yeah. or whatever. You okay, can't there, there, there things. Are, there yes. are fetishes <laughs> yes. that are, are, are safe. Are, no, they're that are natural, naturally uh, occurring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there are there are fetishes that are self induced. Um, and those can be like um, not good for your relationship or anything. Like, what like a one? lot of people who, who watch a lot of porn. Um, and I've read studies on this. A lot mm-hmm. of people who watch a lot of porn mm-hmm. start to um, dislike sex. No, they start to think that they need to have sex with different partners every night. They need to um, be the porn experience star. and be a porn no, star. I've they need to do heard these of things. People who these can't things. come without porn. that too. See, it, like it becomes they'd rather watch, watch porn, porn and than masturbate have sex. than oh, yes. actually uh, have sex with John. Person? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So it's, it's, it's kind of like a malady. So a lot of people that watch porn now and they're saying por- like we've talked about this before. Porn addiction is yeah. a real thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You expect a variety in your sex life. So yeah. mm-hmm. this is breaking up marriages and everything like that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. so there there are fetishes that you gr- like you naturally fall into, and there are those that are. Detrimental. Bec- detrimental because yeah. of something you're doing. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. now I, I want to bring this uh, around to uh, one of Max's specialties. I mean, we talked about threesomes, uh, fetishes, bisexuality. Can you make um, me take a shot <laughs> to, to ask her something? Well, no, I, I oh, just want to okay. ask. I mean, you're, I'll drink it anyway. Uh, yes, you said that um, once you're in a serious relationship, you're, the whole threesome thing isn't attractive to you anymore. But one of the, the attractions of a bisexual woman, two guys, first thing that comes to their mind is like, ooh, there's a chance for a threesome. You see, okay, I have something yeah. to say about that. Mm. Um, I, I was in this relationship who I was with for a long time, and we were indulging in such a, a lifestyle where mm-hmm. we had threesomes or whatever, or like mm-hmm. I'd voyeurism where we'd mm-hmm. hire someone to watch 
because mm -hmm. shit. Really? That's wow. Awesome. That's okay. We only have six viewers and listeners. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Am I the? I think I'll be the seventh. No, you'd be the fourth. <laughs> 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 anyway. Okay, and um, and then eventually, you know, like. As much as he would encourage the fact that I was bi, although I mean I'm bisexual in a sense that I, I like to sleep with both men and women, but I've never been in a relationship with a woman. Okay. Because I, I, you're I not a lesbian. You're just bisexual. Is that dude, it? Dude, a lesbian is you only like women. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Stephen like has a hard time telling the difference. There's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. actually, if you, if you go to the U.S., there are very, very many terms. Like there's hetero flexible, where you can only be with, we can only be in a relationship with um, the same sex, but you like to have sex with both. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. A lot wow. of people think that, especially for guys, when when a guy is bisexual in other guys' minds, that guy's gay. They're gay. Yeah. Automatically. Exactly. But like for me. Sorry, what was the question? Aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm like, aren't Wait, they? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, just, you just threw another dick into the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bro? I, was no, just, I got don't. confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm confused. I got confused. What? What? what you just, what what you just do? He just slapped us with a dick. You just threw no, sand it in the... Basically, um, Wait, you're, uh, you like you like penis. You like uh, pussy. pussy. I like when Mark uh -huh. says penis. Yeah. What? Penis and vagina. <laughs> penis and vagina. Uh, you like penis and vagina. So why not the two together in a relationship? Oh, because... Well, you mean okay, at the same okay, time? okay, this is what I was saying for yeah. my previous relationship. We did indulge in a lifestyle like that. And it was okay at first because he was always a part of it. And then eventually I had an experience with a girl that he encouraged because he was like, oh, fuck, that's, that's so cool or whatever. Yeah. But then he, he realized that he couldn't be a part of it. Ah. And it was, it was like a huge fight. And I was in, in my mind. So all this time, it was very selfish of him to have said, oh, yes, I accept you for the way you are, mm. blah, 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 blah. Yung pala, kailangan kasala siya. Yeah, because that's a secret. It's the ultimate male fantasy. No, I get it. I get that. It's the ultimate male fantasy. I get that, you know, but like, I have my own fantasies and I yeah. want to fuck a girl. Okay, so but was he, je was he jealous mm. of the fact that you were... Yeah, he kept insisting that I was in love with a woman and that I had to go to his house and fuck him like crazy to get rid of my lesbianism. What? Okay, but he didn't. And but now he it's didn't just like, fuck off! I am leaving you. <laughs> but did he object to uh, the fact that you were going off to shag no, a girl? No, because okay, he yeah. encouraged it. He said, "It's okay, go for it." So advice to men out yeah, there: don't no, encourage. No, and it wasn't even shagging the girl. We were just hanging out a lot, and we'd kiss once in a while. But yeah. uh, okay, mm. all right. So, yeah. Roby, I gotta Wait. take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta right, I shower. have a question for you guys: Have any of you dated a bisexual girl? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and so have you. Why am I not surprised Why that Steven said me that? Into this? <laughs> <laughs> Same real there. Steven. <laughs> Aren't you the one who said back you didn't want to talk about a threesome? <laughs> no, I mean, hello, I didn't know she was. I, okay, what was I your experience? I don't know who you're talking about. So did you no, I just found out that when we broke up, she was hooking up with a girl. It's okay. Okay. No, you oh, just, you just ruined her. Yeah. Oh, wait, wow. who is this? You just ruined dating men forever for her. That's uh, all. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes, sometimes you date a girl, you don't know that she's bi. I mean, because some yeah. for a lot I of women, they don't discover it until, it. They, until they break up. Ah, because with you. For women who want to move, no, no, move, move, move on, sometimes their way of moving on, uh, she was supposed to be discussed in the last episode, was to, to no. be with the other sex. You know, no, Steven, I, I, you just I, I ruined it for other women, Stephen. That's it. That's I have all. a theory <laughs> for all human beings. I really believe that we are all born to be bisexual until we all decide whether we're gay or straight. Mm. I haven't decided whether I'm gay or straight. Our gay producer is okay, nodding his head vigorously. I am bisexual. But that's, that's what, what, I, what I was saying a while ago. So for a guy, a guy mm. can't be bisexual. Only, a because, lot of guys only like because it's socially unacceptable. Because once you've taken it up the, um, the rear, mm. right, you're oh, wait, you're gay, um, right? Yeah. You, no, but no, no, no. you look you like you're not. Like, you don't <laughs> seem. First of all, <laughs> one, why are you not so? First of all, don't fucking touch me. Second, he's not even sure. He's like, right, yeah. right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Please back me up. And no, we're not editing this. I'll guess. <laughs> no, but um, you know what I mean. Take it up your ass. Wait, time out. In prison, though. Uh, check this out. In prison, <laughs> it's, it's socially acceptable. Scientifically. There are guys who go to prison who, who are, are the ones doing the fucking, but they're not getting butt fucked. So when they get out of prison, I mean, they still had to relieve themselves in prison. No. So technically, no, hold on. <laughs> they say, I'm not gay because I was doing the fucking, but I didn't get fucked. You know what I'm saying? They just needed so the outlet. What's your take on that? They just no, needed the outlet. Gay. Yeah, they needed an outlet. So that's considered, I'm just throwing it out there. Okay. They're gay. They're yeah. gay. Yes. In your mind, because... It's still penetration on another dude. In my mind, I'm, I'm with her in thinking, if, okay, if you're someone who's declaring himself bisexual, uh -huh. bisexual is a, is a transient um, label. At the end of the day, at the end of your life, you will be either straight 
or homosexual. You either suck dick or you don't. Yeah, that's agreed. It. That's it. For that's, me, huh? that's yeah. how I see things. That's how I see it too. So people who say they're bisexual are just people who want to have a decide. Experiment it. They no, wanna I've experimented. S- I know. I like both. Talaga. Okay. Galen. Okay. So, so you're saying that he's wrong because you're you're saying that you can be just bisexual. I you don't have so, to yeah. eventually choose one or the other. I need a drink. You don't have to choose I like. Well, I don't. Okay, right now, at this time in my life, I like both dick and pussy. Okay. At the same time. You know, time. maybe no. Well, yeah, but I, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it depends. But you know, if I'm with someone, if I'm with a guy, because I've only been this oh, is wow. the thing. It's okay, I've never yeah. been in a relationship with a woman, ever. I've just. What was their topic again? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, but, but we're going to be two hours. Been, I, I'm open to it. I've never tried it, but I've, I've been... But if I'm with a guy... I don't know. Even when, I'm, even when if I'm with a guy, I still want girls. Maybe I'm gay. What the fuck? I don't know. And, uh, and when we come back, she will tell us if she's gay or straight. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Today. a bisexual, guys. I, I am. I am. There I go. We'll be right oh. back. <laughs> <laughs> I got a shower. Experience the best beers in the world on tap in Chef Carlo Miguel's gastronomic feasts. Draft Gastropub with branches at the Fort's Trip, Rockwell Mall, Greenbelt 2, and soon to open to open Will Tower, Quezon City, and Molito Alabang. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the, the cave. cave. Oh. So we so, okay. Are, so uh, at this time, I believe after that cold shower, <laughs> yes, um, that, not uh, together. We're going to our top ten. Um, well, ask well, ask Max first <laughs> if, she's if she out. thinks that she's bisexual or <laughs> <in fact laughs> yeah. gay. No, I'm bisexual. You're bisexual. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Just if you want to have. Well, sex if it makes you feel any better, Stephen is trisexual. He's always trying to have sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually not bad. Actually, okay. I will never I really volunteer. <laughs> That's actually. I love you too much. Asexual, like a brother, <laughs> <laughs> which is also a fetish, fetish, by the way, because <laughs> incest is the best. Yes, yes. yes. Put Keeping your it in the, the family. Test. Again, the whole family can play. <laughs> All right. The, oh, talk about incest. Can you I hear about that 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 um that oh, yeah, um cool. that uh, family in Australia? It was like a sect. Yes. And they, what? they it was like 30 kids and yeah. they're all born of out of incest. Yes. And literally all of them are fucking each other. Mentally ill. They yeah. all have deformities. They yeah. Are, Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So they were caught because they were buying groceries and about 15 kids came out of this one caravan. Yeah. And all of them were um, a little um medic- medically retarded. Not retarded in, yeah. in that sense, but medically what a term. retarded. Just say special. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Um, that was okay. crazy. Okay. Yeah, All right. Well, so anyway, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> so, and their last names were Nelson? What, what are you trying to get at? <laughs> no. okay. from Australia. So now we're down to our top yeah. 10. So top 10 uh, most uh, interesting fetishes, fetishes. And how to accomplish them. How to accomplish them. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. the first one is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> number nine is costumes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Better. Oh. okay. Number 10, bro. Okay, number, number 10. 10. Number 10 costumes okay. is um, you tell your girlfriend that you're going to help... Uh, you know, help some kids okay. by being mascots in a in a in a show. Okay. And then you're you put Valium in the drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I now you included Valium this. and children. Great. Great. I don't know where you're going, oh bro. Okay, rape hold on. And then pedophilia. Steven, yeah, rape and then pedophilia. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> Steven, let me tell I you. I know, man. Oh, wait, that, I'm going to make you pass out, does it? No. No, no, it just relaxes you. Okay. okay. <laughs> let me tell you. How to, <laughs> is that what you tell the kids? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how to do the costume one correctly. Though. Okay, go. You wait until Halloween and you suggest to your girlfriend, uh-huh. hey, Let's you know what? Volumes. You would look great in such and such. You're going to go out. You're going to get liquored up anyway. Then you go home and have wild stuff. Wow, that was fun. You know what? That outfit Good really job, worked. Nelson. And the thing is, yeah. Good job. you don't even have I, that, to. No, see, no, that I agree we with Mark for. because the thing is, you, don't need, you wouldn't even have to suggest it because Halloween is the only time of year that gives every woman That's an true. excuse to dress, dress up like a slut. slut. Yes. Ah. Here, here. Yes. Here, here. And men to go out without their shirts now. Nowadays, also, yeah. Every every every, every guy goes like top now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> With the whole line of guys working out. <laughs> Where's the value? Yeah. Love them library sluts. There's no value. <laughs> the <laughs> librarian <laughs> sluts. They're <laughs> great. Mm, okay. okay. Oh, I'll go. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Number these nine. These are all things that, that was. Uh, I think you were. Well, he was ten. Eight. Number nine. I was nine. Oh, did you yeah, already suggest yeah. one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're all into pain, as you, you uh, earlier alluded to. So for those who are into pain, you know, you think, oh, I'll join. Uh, uh, maybe I'll do triathlons or I'll do MMA. No, 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 no. Go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. You're already in a compromising position. Your mouth is open. Needles can be involved. Boom. Satisfy your pain fetish. Yeah. You like? Or you, like? you call her waxer. Or you yeah. call her waxer <laughs> and the dentist at the same time. Yeah. I, I actually guested my waxer on the show. Oh, what no way. And she, f- and she waxed, I'm sorry, baby, Franco Mabanta's armpits. 
Live. I Live. cannot unsee that. Thank wow. you. Wow. Yeah, we, 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 the episode Good was job, called man. What's Up Down There. Mm, okay. All right. All right. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to think anymore. Um, okay. well, let me tell you. Uh, you're my section. So. You go number maybe? seven. Number I'll seven. go again oh, if you yeah. want. Number seven. We're at seven. Well, mine is oh, really fetish, though, and it's my personal oh, one. Yeah. Okay. It's shoes. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Shoes and feet because I go together. Yeah. Well, since I'm a girl, it's very easy for us to kind of like incorporate our fetishes with guys. So, you know, you just wear something sexy with it and wear my high heels. And, I'll, and then when he starts taking off my, my clothes, and I'm just like, oh, baby, I want to keep my shoes on. Is that okay? It's okay. That that's very true. porn. I mean, yeah. obviously. I am are so they clear sorry. heels? Yeah, that's great. I'm the, I'm, I kissed Jesse Jane. <laughs> oh, good. good she's pretty much kissed half of West LA. <laughs> <Yes>. well, <hello. laughs> that's not the only place they're left to be. <laughs> but yeah, like, sure, that's, just that's my personal just thing. West I'm LA, yeah. it's, it's, it really is much easier for, for us chicks. Mm. to incorporate our fetishes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I've okay, got go one. Um, go. uh, if you were into Golden Childs, which I am not, I am um, <laughs> but yeah. I think a, a convincing way to get your partner to do it is to wait until you're at the beach together, come out of the water screaming, oh my God, I've, got, I've, I've been uh, stung by a jellyfish. Nice. nice. Right? Well, nice. You need to pee all over nice. me. <laughs> nice. Look at thank that. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Again, no Valiums involved. Yeah, again, again, no I Valiums involved. I think that among the four of you, Mark is the most perverted. Wow. He's got all of them. He's anything. the most perverted, I think. Yeah. yeah. No, but they're legitimate. He's got the best tips. No, no, and, and, and normally it's the people, the, the guys that look like they're normal, they're wholesome, that have the weirdest fetishes. That's true, huh? It's always the freaky ones. Yeah, it's, they're always <laughs> the freaky ones. The ones that look really, really look good. so like normal, normal Stephen. <laughs> Hello, I'm normal. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't say that. You you're don't like, say that you're no, normal. No, no, no. You're not supposed to say exactly. that you're normal. Out of, yeah, yeah, out of the four of us, you're like the story. most yeah. average looking. Okay. Five, 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 <laughs> five, yeah, five, actually. five. <laughs> He's like, oh, let's pass over. Oh, yeah. uh, mine was actually just going to be really practical. Okay, go. Um, go. Practical if you works. have a fantasy or a fetish for flight attendants, or okay. you want to have sex in an airplane, mm -hmm. um, plan for it. Make sure to take a night flight. Because uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people take random flights thinking that they, they can make it happen. Yeah. Make sure you take a night flight because when there's a Everyone's night flight, gonna be out. there's a, a shift change between mm -hmm. flight attendants as well. So there is a, mm. a, a lull in service where okay. you can actually go to the bathroom with your partner. No, they, mm. have, okay. they have those little, um, um, a few seats like in the back part of the plane where they actually have the curtain. The whole yes, and you can request those because no one re no one wants to sit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking there's of, a, you speaking there's of a curtain, sex in a plane, curtain, 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 you guys have to watch the movie Fly Girls. Oh, I haven't seen that. Okay. Jesse Jane, Sasha Gray, Jenna Hayes. Okay, oh, it's that oh. kind of movie. Oh, it's an Oscar <laughs> winner. I was like, who are the actors? Oh, okay. yeah. oh it's All right. actually uh, okay. on my iPad. I'm gonna I, I, I have one, I have one, I have one. Go, go, okay. go, go, I don't go. really have a lot of fetishes, but feet, feet. So, uh, okay. feet, um, <laughs> bring, bring her to a Japanese restaurant. Okay. The ones where you need oh to take off your shoes. Oh, my goodness. What? Okay, no, let him finish. Yeah, let him finish. Yeah. Or and then what do you just do? Just ask her. If, ask her if you want to give her a foot massage. Like you just really want to so see. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like peek under the table. Yeah. Yeah. Offer a yeah. foot, yeah. foot yeah. massage. Offer a foot massage. Okay, okay, okay. Foot yeah. massage. Because yeah. that's my that's my only fetish. Feet. That's it. Yeah. Feet. See, oh, you're that's wearing it. heels. Oh, do you want to oh, take? You know, you can take them off. Let's hang on. You can put them on, on the couch. Here, do you want to massage? Me, Here, take this for hypno okay. while I get your shoes. You like feet, pal? And slowly open your penis and put the foot there. I'd be like, is this cool? Is this how you do it? <laughs> this is how you did it with... I don't have a foot fetish, my friend. I'm with, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you don't? No. We, foot, yeah. so what do you like weird. most about your, you your girlfriend? Are you I don't feet like you anymore. Okay, weird. what do you like most I about so your sorry. girlfriend? It, oh, everything. Oh. Which part? Oh. Which part? Which part? No, but there's no... That's a, which there's, part? Which part? It doesn't have to be a fetish. Which part? No, I'm not going to tell you. It's private. I am never gonna plug this thing. I am never gonna plug this show. in a serious relationship. Hey, I'm keeping half of my million. We need it. We need it. Treat him nice. Treat him nice. Nice. Be nice. All right. I'm the secret producer of this show. Are there fetishes? We're done. We're done. Are we good? Then I think so. Yeah. Done two. Then we're good. Done two. Another anticlimactic ending. Yeah. Another back to back. Well, we're consistent. Would you like to end with one phenomenal, awesome fetish, my dear? Yes. Please. Please. That's more. Both. So Anything either. that's hot and juicy can get us ratings. Wow. Uh, hmm. Get us ratings. I'm pretty desperate right now. <laughs> How about guys who dress up like babies? <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Upskirt. Okay, okay. She I has okay, okay. I, I, I thought of one. Oh. Mm. Uh, the daddy little girl thing. Mm, you're, you're tapping into Mark's mar market right now. Yeah. Okay, go. Continue. He's <laughs> listening. All He's all it. ears. Go. And penises. Older okay. men and young girls. Uh-huh. How do you so want that's hot? How does that is well? I'm not I'm not young anymore, but <laughs> oh, so you want your guy to dress up like a lolo? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, no, like I, wear I, like I wear a gray hoodie and 
no, no, I, no, no, I mean like when you no, say no, 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 dirty okay. talking, dirty talking, like you know. But like when, when you say old, what do you mean by old? Like no, no, I mean old? just just older, older guys, just older. Guys. Guys. How old are you? At? Older, okay. Like sixties, like with a beard. Fifties, older, no, oldest. It's more of like it's more of like the dirty talk kind of role play kind of thing. Like when you're having sex and then like the guys whispering like, "I'll call you daddy." Like. Ah, like, hey, I'm gonna pay for your tuition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pasi si Kevin. That sounds like a very oh, familiar line money. for you. Or like, uh, or like, Max. After this, you have to sleep, nah? Sleep. Tomorrow you have school, pa. <laughs> after. You know, we we were almost no. finishing in a good. Okay. Yeah. It's more like okay, more, it's more like dirty you, talk. You, you dirty just talk. Sand Steven in the is nothing mignon, if, bro. but if not. A, uh, <laughs> so I won't like be back next system. week, guys. Um, thank you. We will be back yeah. next week. I know, I, I, I'm I not so sure back about back. you. Uh, Max, you were awesome. You, anything you want to plug apart from vaginas and buttholes? Can I plug? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Go ahead. Oh, guys, please catch um, Two Girls, One Cup under nmftv.com every Monday at 7 p.m. live. And you can um, subscribe on iTunes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, For free under New Media Factory. Or you can su subscribe to NMFTV and Humor on YouTube. And you can um, follow us at, at Two Girls. One cup on Twitter and at two girls underscore one cup on Instagram. Yay! Awesome show. Awesome. Okay. And then, uh, of course, and then uh, on the show, we have uh, the point system where yes. we ask our guests to uh, give 10 points to a winner and then minus 10 points to the loser for any reason she has to give those points or deduct points. So you have the floor or reference. Oh, like a I'm sorry. 10 I gave 10 points. You give 10 points to whoever you consider the winner, and you give 10 points to whoever you... Uh, you um, remove 10 yeah. points to whoever can, you On consider any, any the winner. Yeah. I had to give 10 points to Rovi because he raised his hand because he had a threesome with Jesus, Stephen Koo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and and we're not All cutting right, that out. Fine, fine. <laughs> And you guess we're keeping that bit in. <laughs> but I've never, I never saw his butt. We never touched, and he was in a different room. That's not considered that was, a threesome. And, that's, and that's it was with the Devil's one. Freeway. And I was, and I was the third person. And it was with the one in prison. It was with Irwan in prison. I got a plus ten for all the wrong reasons. Plus ten, minus ten, Irwan for everything. The cave extra. Was that real? Did he get minus ten? Yeah. Yeah. No, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed it every second. The small penis in him. Every minute. Okay, go. I don't want to know He's technically still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel Steven. He didn't feel anything. No, yeah. plug the show, bro. I did already. Okay, good. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Don't listen to a word we say. We Peace. love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next bye, week. Bye, guys. Thank you Thanks so much for, for having me. When you say penis, we mean love. What? <laughs>